the projected time of six o'clock for the final has been missed by only seven minutes, which is absolutely miraculous. If I had to talk for so long, that would have been You did say that, John, I wasn't going to mention it. Uh, welcome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This, is, this is going to be the, um, the dramatic music, I think, of the, the um, there we go. Uh, so, you're, you're all right, so that's and the closest you get into a light show before it's all set. Like, so. <laughs> this is John Eagle I stitch you reading the answers from the distance. All right, so if you're if you're ready teams, welcome to the final. Put your fingers on your buzzers and your minds in gear, and the starter questions start thus. In 2007, this player made his league debut for Stocksbridge Park Steels, later moving to Halifax. This is Alan. Jamie Vardy. Is the correct answer. First set of bonuses, the subject or theme is history. Uh, and what name was given to the system of safe houses and escape routes in the 19th century that fleeing American slaves used to escape to Canada? Okay. Underground Railroad. Correct. The series of events known as the Wars of the Austrian Succession concern the succession of which historical figure to the Habsburg monarchy? Marie Therese is the correct answer. And Joan Countess, Count Joan, Countess of Salisbury, was also known as the Fair Maid of Kent. She married whom in 1362? Mm. Answer. Henry the Third. No, pass that over. Richard the Second. No, Edward. Back, Prince. Back on your buzzers again, please. In this film, the realization that daylight saving time was not established until World War I allows a shadow cast by a bell tower to serve as a clue at 3.22 p.m. rather than 2.22 p.m. In a chamber underneath Trinity Church, Ian Howe abandons part of his group for the Old North Church in Boston in this film, only for those remaining to realise that the phrase, the secret lies with Charlotte, refers to a Meerschaum pipe. In which film does a coded map on the back of the Declaration of Independence lead Nicholas Cage? National treasure. Is the correct answer. <coughs> series of bonuses on music. Who is the composer of the piece of classical music known as the Hunting Cantata. The best known aria from this piece is Sheep May Safely Graze. Correct. In which stage and screen musical would you find the songs I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair and there is nothing like a dame is the correct answer. And who can hit with Love Yourself in the early part of 2016. Larson? No, nope. pass that over. Bieber? Is the correct no, answer. No, no. Back on the buzzards. This national park is home to a film festival co founded in 2010 by Mark Kermode. Paulton's family theme park in this national park is the location of Pepper. Nope. Give you the whole question for free. Is the location of Pepper Pig World. Thomas Kingsmill was the leader of a criminal gang who sheltered in this national park en route to raiding smuggled tea and rum from the Pool Customs House. Near the village of Minstead in this national park, you will find the Rufus Stone, which claims to mark the spot at which an arrow is, New Forest. is the correct answer. This um, set of bonuses entitled Crosswords. The much missed Reverend John Graham sets some of the most enjoyable crosswords. Unlike most setters, he only set for two new newspapers. One was under the name of Aracaria in The Guardian. For which other newspaper did he set under the pseudonym K. 
kinephile, or cinephile, which is an anagram of chili ein. The observer? No. Nope. Pass that over. <coughs> Answer, please. No. Nope. It's the Financial Times. <coughs> In which daily newspaper can you tackle the toughy crossword between Tuesday and Friday? <coughs> no. Nope. Is the correct answer, five bonus points. And which newspaper sponsors an annual championship? This year it's caused controversy because it has allowed anyone who pays £35 to enter and then go via the qualifying buzzers. The times? That one is the times. So we're back on the buzzers again for another starter. Despite having an IQ of 77, this man was not de deemed as a feeble-minded person under the Mental Deficiency Act by Dr. James Matheson. This man attempted a burglary on the warehouse of Barlow and Parker, along with an accomplice, during which Frederick Fairfax received an injury to his shoulder. <coughs> Lord Goddard later criticised David Maxwell Fife for the eventual penalty received by this man. Penalty is the correct answer. <laughs> Your bonuses are on, on the general heading science. What is the name given to the flap of cartilage that prevents food from entering the windpipe? Is the correct answer. Aluminium oxide, the second hardest known natural substance after diamond, is better known by which name? Is the correct answer. And the UK has three native snakes. The grass snake and the adder are two of them, and the other is, smooth is the smooth snake. Correct answer. New starter for you. When asked who's the only gay in the village, one character in this TV series is... Nope. Ask that over. The whole question you can have. One character in this series answers Eddie Grundy. The Goulding Inquiry investigates the death of Nurse Douglas Tickle in this series. That inquiry was called for by Nicola Murray under pressure from a character given nicknames such as Iago with a Blackberry and the Gorbals Gerbils. This TV program was the origin of the OED's Word of the Year in 2012, Omnishambles. Concerning the Department of Social Affairs the fiddler is the fiddler mm -hmm. indeed. Being <coughs> played out every day in the house of commons at the moment. Your bonuses are on lifestyle. Which social networking app was founded in 2009 by two ex Yahoo employees, Brian Acton and Jan Coom? Uh, Need an answer, please? What say Twitter? Nope. WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the answer to that one. Social networking. <laughs> Messaging, it might be. Right, and um, second one. Which former British boy band launched fragrances called Our Moment, That Moment, You and I, and Between Us? Sounds like <laughs> One direction. Is the correct answer. It's more like one dimension. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of the ITV series I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here in 2017 was Georgia Toffolo, who made her name through which other reality Made show? Chelsea. Made in Chelsea is the correct answer. In this novel, a fox, a fox terrier presents a dead water rat in its mouth, apparently as its contribution to an Irish stew dinner. The narrator of this novel recalls his friend purchasing some cheese that was so pungent that his wife moved into a hotel to avoid living with it. The, that hypochondriac narrator... Three men in a boat. It is three men in a boat. <laughs> 
Bonuses on the subject sport. Which Britain won a bronze medal in the men's snowboarding big air event at last year's Winter Olympics? Not interested in it, so I'm not. Silly Norris? No, I can pass that over. Morgan. Billy Morgan. Uh, uh, that is the correct answer, yes. Which Britain won a bronze medal in the men's skeleton bob at the recent Winter Olympics? Answer, Christian Bromley. No. He's Diaz. No, his name was Dominic Parsons. Parsons, yeah. And former Wimbledon ladies singles champion Garbin Mugarutha now represents Spain. But in which South American country was she born? Venezuela. Is the correct answer. instruction here which I don't understand but I'll, I'll take it over yes. Right, this mathematician's namesake numbers takes the form 2 to the power of 2 to the n plus 1. No. This mathematician names the statement that a to the p is equal to a mod p. The Taniyama Shimura conjecture was used by Andrew Wiles to prove a result named for this mathematician, which states that a to the n plus b to the n equals c to the n has no integer solutions for n greater than 2. Name this famous French... Is the chap. I didn't understand a letter of that. Right, and... Hot luck for your bonuses. Which annual reference book has been published since 1868, at first by the publisher which bears its name, and celebrates its 150th anniversary this year with the slogan, Today's World in One Volume? <laughs> Is indeed Whitaker's Almanac. By what name, what name was subsequently given to the telegram sent by Germany's foreign minister to the German ambassador in Mexico in 1917, which was intercepted by the British and played a major role in persuading the Americans to enter the First World War. The Zimmerman telegram is the correct answer. And Los Angeles is one end of Route 66 in the USA. Which city at the other end? Chicago. Yes, it runs from Chicago to... Back on the... <clears throat> Buzzers again for another starter. After tracking down a man whom he had fought alongside in a war, the protagonist of one video game in this series is surprised to discover he is now a flamboyant homosexual jogger going by the name <laughs> Bernie Crane. The protagonist in one game in this series is frequently asked, let's go bowling, by their cousin, whose taxi business burns down at the end of the first section. It is Grand Theft Auto, but he had GTA if you wanted to stay just a little time. Your bonuses are on the theme of geography. Which port on the Bay of Bengal is the second largest city in Bangladesh? Is the correct answer. On the national flag of which North African Northern African country is the Eagle of Saladin depicted? Is correct answer. And the Avon Havren is the Welsh name for which British river? The Severn. It is indeed the Severn. Lesh Nyhan syndrome is sometimes known as the juvenile form of this disorder. A 1997 paper by Bruce Rothschild suggests that the Tyrannosaurus rex Sue likely suffered from this disorder. 
Loop diuretic drugs often have the side effect of have the side effect of this disorder, which can be treated with a competitive inhibitor for the kidney's organic anion transporter, such as probenecid. The first metatarsophalangeal joint is the most common site of this disorder. Gout. Is gout. <laughs> I wish you got there before I had to say that. <laughs> Sorry, I took my <laughs> And sport again. Which cricketer captained Pakistan when they won the ICC World Cup in 1992? Imran Khan is the correct answer. Which five times Grand Slam tennis champion tested positive for a banned substance at the 2016 Australian Open? Oh, Have an answer, please. Is the correct answer. And who currently captains the England women's soccer team? Steph Hall. Is the correct answer. Back on the buzzers again for another starter. The original commission of this sculpture was to Agostino Di Duccio using materials quarried from Carrara. But this arrangement ended with the death of Donatello. Is the correct answer. <laughs> Subject or theme, Irish history. During the short-lived Easter Rising in Dublin in 1916, which public building did the Nationalist Rebels establish their headquarters? GPL Post Office. It was on Sackville, now a Street. In 1974, which 21-year-old won a by-election in the Northern Irish constituency of Mid-Ulster? Yes, because yeah, it's easier to say the Macaulay yeah, yeah. <laughs> And in which river did the RMS Empress of Ireland sink in the early hours of the 29th of May 1914 with the loss of 1,012 lives? <laughs> An answer, please. No. Answer please. St. Lawrence. The St. Lawrence is the correct answer. You little faith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I see. <laughs> and that's ten. Surprise for you. No mental agility. That's so after ten. The scores are. Uh, Lancaster 190 and Ormskirk 225. Pretty close. <laughs> right, so onwards with another starter. One column by this writer about George W. Bush concluded John Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald, John Hinckley Jr. Where are you now that we need you? <laughs> this man read media studies but claims he did not graduate because his dissertation was on the unacceptable topic of video games. He collaborated... Charlie Brooker? Charlie Brooker is your man. <laughs> Bonuses are the living world. Superb and Alberts are the two species of which Australian bird which has the ability to mimic sounds from the environment. Wow. Superb. 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 is the correct answer. What specific type of creature are chuckwallers, galley wasps and horny toads? Lizards. They are all lizards. And which Australian marsupial has three species? The common, the southern hairy-nosed, and the northern hairy-nosed. Wombats. They are indeed all wombats. <laughs> On the buzzers again for another starter. One section of this work in <coughs> D-flat major was particularly admired by its composer, who described it for my agent, Michael Steinberg suggests that the composer of this work was inspired to place a variation before a theme 
by the finale of Beethoven's Eroica. Upon advice from his friend Moisievich, the composer of this work, drank and a glass of creme de menthe to steady his nerves before its technically challenging 24th variation. Which piece for solo piano and symphony? Well, I didn't. I didn't. It's a miracle. And I, well, we won't count that as a, as a as if it was accidental. I'll just continue reading. It's okay. I'll, I'll pick up in there. Upon advice from his friend Moisievich, the composer of this work drank a glass of creme de menthe to steady his nerves before its technically challenging 20 or 24th variation. Which piece for solo piano and symphony orchestra is that in the Politics is the title of the next one. All looking forward to this. Which politician was the leader of the UK Independence Party during the 2017 general election? Oh, they've had so many. <laughs> Things. That's an answer. Uh, I would say Mark Reckless. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. Nuttall. Nuttall, yes. Oh, oh, Nuttall. Ne never more aptly aimed, named. In the current Boris Johnson cabinet, who inherited the role of Transport Secretary from Chris Gayling? Grayling. Yeah. Yes. Shaps. Yeah, so he's doing his best to live down to it. Yeah. And, and who performed the role of acting leader of the Labour Party before Ed Miliband became the permanent leader, and then again after he resigned. Harriet Harman is the correct answer. Back on the buzzers, please. According to Cassius Dio, Seneca the Younger forced this leader to repay huge debts that resulted from unwanted loans. According to Tacitus, when Prasitagus's will was ignored following his death. This leader was flogged. These are verses on films. And who played Richard Nixon in the ninety-nine film? Ninety-five. Nineteen ninety-five film Nixon. Yeah. Correct answer. Although How to Marry a Millionaire was the first film completed to be filmed in Cinemascope, which biblical epic was the first film released to cinemas in Cinemascope in 1953? Is the correct answer. Which 1996 disaster movie starring Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton is, noticeable, is notable for the first Hollywood feature film to be released on DVD? Is the correct answer. <coughs> Back on the buzzers again, Robert J. Gordon proposed the triangle model of this phenomenon, which includes its built-in type, and it is plotted against unemployment on a Phillips curve. It is this phenomenon which Milton Friedman declared is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon, comes in cost push. Inflation. Is inflation. Obviously controlling it by your mind instead of plasma. Right, let's play blockbusters. If we must. What bee is a mythical creature that could kill with its breath or its glance and gets its name from the Latin word for a royal child? <coughs> Famous nowadays for the festival that takes place there in July each year, what P was the city that was historically the capital of the Kingdom of Navarre? Is Pamplona. And what C is the name of the aura of plasma that surrounds the sun and is visible during a solar eclipse? Corona. It's the corona. Indeed. Answer as soon as you buzz. If the names of the 50 US states are reversed, such as, for example, Utah becomes Hatu, right? Which state becomes the alphabetically last. 
Kentucky? It's absolutely <laughs> Um, this set of, of uh, bonuses are on a subject of theme of radio. Uh, which radio station launched earlier this year and features the presenters Charles Nove, Mark Forrest, Hannah Cox, and Alexis French? Scala? Yes, they have Scala Radio. They could have mentioned uh, Simon Mayo. <laughs> In the popular BBC Five live show and podcast called Flintoff, Savage and the Ping Pong Guy, who is the Ping Pong, ping -pong Guy? I can't remember his name. Matthew Sire is the correct answer. And who currently hosts the Radio 4 quiz Counterpoint? is the correct answer. That's um, scores after 15. <coughs> um, Lancaster have 295, and 365. Okay. Right, so we're into the final stretch now. This character claims that his mother dowager, who owns a Dalmatian dog called Gremlin, is always correct. This character is first mentioned in the sad story of Henry when he tells a guard to fetch a rope under a title that he retained until 1948. This character appears in a meme featuring subtitles revealing he laughed while saying, you are wrong. Which character, whose title changed with the nationalisation of the North Western Railway, was created by... Fat controller. It is the fat controller. <laughs> you could have had a top of the hat. Or in America, the fat director. So all those possibilities. <laughs> right, history. Who in 1969 was credited with being the first person to reach the North Pole on foot after Peary's claim from 1909 was rejected? <laughs> answer is, Wally Herbert is the correct answer. In 1842, which German socialist came to work in one of his father's mills where sewing threads were made in Wies in Salford? Engels. Ah, Engels. Is the correct answer. And which printer and publisher founded and gave his name to a clerical dictionary? In 1858. Crockford. Crockford. That is the man. Right. Um, question, uh, this is the 17th um, in the series. In 2009, it was revealed that a product from this brand <coughs> was being employed at the defunct Dunray nuclear power station. Ben Goldic Goldacre criticised the scientific basis of this brand's advertising in his Guardian column, stating that any element from calcium's group in the periodic table will dissolve in water. This brand has advertising campaigns in Australia and North America featuring Martin Grellis and Dan Dolan respectively, equivalent to a character in Britain played by Neil Burgess. Name this brand owned by... by manufacturing group Reckitt Benkaiser, whose products are advertised on TV by Barry Scott's demonstration. So <laughs> done, that's the one. <laughs> Subject, food and drink. Which snack or meal was popularised by a marketing campaign in the late 1950s and early 1960s by the Milk Marketing Board? Oh. Which is the correct answer. Which hot drink was allegedly invented by Joe Sheridan, a chef at the Foynes Flying Boat Terminal in County Limerick, after a group of American passengers were forced to disembark <coughs> after a stormy flight in the mid-1940s? Irish coffee. Is the correct answer. And which cheese is traditionally made in the Yorkshire town of Hawes? Wednesday. Is the correct well. answer. <clears throat> Back on the buses, please. One of these characters replaces salt with sugar in a strawberry dessert, 
after her mother says she is taking a day off. At a picnic attended by these characters, a character called Kate Vaughan turns up her nose when she learns that another character is a governess. Professor Friedrich Bayer marries one of these characters after she turns down Laurie's proposal. Uh, March sisters. Yes, that will do fine, yes. Yeah. The Little Women's Project, it all except the March Sisters, so that's absolutely fine. Alright, subject TV. Well, Thomas and Sarah, starring John Alderton and Pauline Collins, was a 1979 spin-off from which ITV drama series? That was the correct answer. And Lampwick, Clarence and Mandy were all characters portrayed by which comedian who died in 1983? <laughs> is the correct answer, and three is entirely blank, so I will just have to choose one from the spare bonuses, okay? You can choose a number one, two, or three. It's nothing to do with television, whichever one it is. Three. Three. What is the shortest Olympic track race with a staggered start? Answer is the correct answer, as shown on television. <coughs> Penultimately, one sect of this religion is known as Kuka, K -U -K -A, meaning shouter, due to their ecstatic practice during devotional singing. Operation Woodrose targeted members of this religion. Places of this worship in this religion may contain a langar. Sikhism is the correct answer. Pop music. Which Irish group from Dundalk released albums including Forgiven, Not Forgotten, Talk on Corners, and In Blue? Is the correct answer. Giving its name to the title of a best-selling book by Anne de Courcy, which derogatory term was applied to women who went to India during the times of the Raj in search of husbands? I'm sorry, it's nothing to do with pop music. Can I have an answer, please? <laughs> is the correct answer. And back on to, uh, to, to pop music again. What was the name of the rock opera and the 11th studio album by the British group Pink Floyd? Cool. Is the correct answer. And our final starter, this musician studied flute, piano and harpsichord at the Royal Academy of Music and later played flute in the band Dragon's Playground. This musician performed the song Little Bird during the 2012 Summer Olympics closing ceremony. This musician is best known for a pop duo formed in Wagga Wagga, Australia after the breakup of the tourist. Jeff, is the correct answer. The final set of bonuses uh, from there is history again. Harold Harefoot, or Harold I, was King of England from 1035 to 1040. But who was his father? <coughs> Correct answer. Which Polish <coughs> king was defeated at the Battle of Bannockburn? <coughs> the correct answer. And the Order of Preachers, or Blackfriars, is a Catholic religious order whose members are better known by what name derived from their 13th century founder? And they are Dominicans. And that concludes the final.
about what a terrific day it's been today, to thank everybody who's turned up from all corners of the UK, thank you very much indeed. And uh, we do have some more celebrations of 60 years of the Merseyside Quiz League coming up in the near future, so I'd like you to support those. But I just like, would like to thank John for all the hard work that's gone on. And that he's been <laughs> Which are? At Lancaster finished on 435 points, but Ormskirk with 170. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 